Why do you have your sunglasses on? Because I think I'm going to look tired and hungover. You're going to look so cool with your sunglasses on? I Next think... You don't look bad. Well, see, all of a sudden the truth comes out, Mariah. Sam tells the truth. I said you don't look bad. That's not... Oh, I think you meant with my sunglasses on. Fuck, okay. Well, you look mind. bad with the sunglasses on. Jesus, okay. <laughs> it well, wasn't I thought the you best look. Back. It wasn't the best look. That's the I'm hungover look. <laughs> Hit it, Logan. <laughs> It's X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of X92.9's X Afternoon's extracurricular activities. Enjoy. This week on X After Hours. Chelsea's nephew said I look like a secret agent, which was awesome. Pickles, cheese, and crackers week for me. Full on vom. Full on vomiting. Ah, gotta go to camp. Gotta sleep in another random bed. That's all you need to do. Episode 17, Mariah, you brought the drinks. Bally water, premium vodka b- beverage. Yeah, I was getting tired of the beers, sorry. Vodka mango, I don't even feel like drinking after this week. We had a Caesar last week, so I think we're on the way of not beers for a little while. Um, these aren't local, but they're from Indonesia, and I thought that was really cool, and they were on feature at the Licky store. Um, yeah. How is it, Sam? It's tea's. I like it. It's nice and light. It's it's warm outside, so. I mean, it's take summertime. It. Oh, that smells delicious. Interesting taste. I don't mind that. Mm. Yeah. Um, that tastes like alcohol, and that's something I had a lot of at Matt Berry's wedding. Mmm. Uh, yeah. Ty, please put your sunglasses back on, as you had a minute ago, for that stellar look. All right, all right. Let me tell you this. Do you want to hear the tale of Matt Berry's wedding in Brooklyn, New York? Because it was exhausting. There as, was, as destination weddings are. Uh, yeah. What's what's exhausting? It looked like a party. That's exactly it. It was a four-day party. It looked like a lot Think of about- drunk Snapchat stories. I was going to message you on a few and be like, that's some high-quality video you got nope, there. Nope. Story-worthy. Uh, if you think about it, Matt and Chelsea have the most social gas in the world. We should explain who Matt and Chelsea are. So if Matt Berry does music listening. here at X929. He does music. He used to be on air. He used to have hair. And now he's married to Chelsea. Yeah. And uh, they're lovely. They're great people. Um, and and you were lucky enough to go to be invited to their wedding. Uh, Shauna Jefferson was also there. From our from our station here, but mm-hmm. look like an absolute ride of a time. You because had... they are the most social people in the world. You know this. They got the social gas yeah. level that never runs out. They literally could talk for hours. They could sit around a bar and be like, oh, it's 6 a.m. Anyways, so you go to New York, and I landed a Thursday night, and I instantly just, I think I... I had to taxi over to meet him at a bar because it was like 10.30 or 11. And I walked in, and I'm walking to this uh, Mexican-themed restaurant under the subway system. Very bizarre. And Sean is the first person I see, I think. And she's very uh, ready to go home, (laughs) is what I would say. Uh, And Chelsea and Matt are ready to stay and ready to party. They were being very loud. It was $2 drinks, so who who would have thought you could have cheap drinks in New York? But you can. And because so much happened, I actually wrote down some of the things to talk about here. The subways. Incredible. Transit getting around. You could be in Brooklyn, and then boom, you hit a subway, and you're in Manhattan in no time. Sam, you've been in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Phenomenal, right? I'm an uncultured swine. (laughs) Yeah, I've been twice, and I have not seen even a quarter of the things that I actually wanted to see. It's wild. It's so big. It's like a big, giant downtown. Uh, I would say the night after we all first met up, everyone went off and did their own things. I went to the uh, Museum of Natural Histories and then 30 Rock, and then we had to go to a meet and greet. But during the day, I was so hungover. Like, there's nothing worse than exploring a city full of uh, other tourists like yourself just being very hungover. I like to pride myself on spatial awareness. Like, I don't think I ever walk in front of someone. Mm. But uh, I'm sure I did that quite a few times. I think everybody's walking in front of everybody there, so you have nothing to feel bad about. Yeah, but 30 Rock is huge. Have you been inside there, Sam? It's massive. Oh, like the actual building? Yeah. Yes. It's wild. It's crazy. Like, I saw they, they do the skating rink in the winter there, but they do a roller rink in the summer. It's like the Rockefeller Center, though, right? That's, That's what good. it is. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Have you ever been... You didn't go to the top of it, right? No. 
oh, that's the best view of New York. That's all my photos and stuff that I took of New York on my camera. I took from up there. It was, it was awesome. 45 bucks to go up. Did they charge you that? Oh, yeah, I probably paid like, well, 30 bucks or something, whatever it was, three or four years ago. It was, like, it was 45 bucks to go up in like a two and a half hour wait. And I was like, I'm two, good. Two and a half hours? Yeah, we, we had went to go, up in like 10. Yeah, we had, uh, we had to go meet um, Matt and Chelsea for the meet and greet with everyone. More drinks happened. That was an open bar. Then uh, eventually we all got home, but we all were walking around downtown Brooklyn and area just hitting up bars randomly. Uh, what else happened that was weird? Everyone napped because it poured rain at one point. We were supposed to go to a Mets game. Like poured rain. We had breakfast, got some bagels. They were delicious. Bagels. I had a French Super toast nice. style bagel. Blew my mind. That's a thing? Yeah. Whoa. The new. It's like the New That's York cool. bagel. It's just like how people think bagels from Montreal are amazing, the, right? The, so, like, the, the amount of cream cheese is there. The schmears, I think they call them. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot, though. Like, <laughs> See? I, I know a thing or two, guys. I got mine with butter, because I just wanted to know what the bagel was. You didn't get a like. schmear? I couldn't think, Mariah. Every morning was a rough one. Um, I should have got the invite, not you. you we went a to schmear. a pizza place, and it was the first pizzeria ever in America, called Lombardi's, and it was the best pizza I've ever had. Why was it the best pizza? I actually wanted to ask you about that. Uh, Why? Their oven was... Like a, one of those old school original ovens. Sam, what, what are those called? A pizza oven? Yes, yeah, obviously. Like a brick oven type thing? Yeah, I don't know. It might have been like a coal oven. I have no clue. That's but really cool. But it was cool, very though. good. The crust was phenomenal. The cheese was like in the movies. Was it big? Like a big No, no. Slab? It was medium. It was a medium sized one. Was they it did thick have or thin? It was thin. Yeah, but like the, the, the crust was so what good. What was the flavor? What was on there? It was meatball, oh. ricotta cheese, oh. mozzarella. Wow. It was unbelievable. We had wine with it as well. Um, Times Square was incredible, like mo maneuvering around there. And this is the only time I had trouble traveling was in Times Square. It's just so busy, right? Yeah, I had to go rip to Little Italy to have drinks with all of our friends. Like, that's the crazy thing. It was like all of our friends were there just texting you to come hang out wherever they were at. Um, but I couldn't find my subway entrance. And I was like, Google Maps says it's here. This is not it. But then I remembered it's not like uh, Edmonton or Calgary where I've lived with transit. I was like, there's so many lines. I can hop on and get on. So I just hopped on a different transit line and got to them. I would have been wow. like very nervous to not know which way I was going. Is it like underground? Like obviously yeah, you have some to of it's stairs, underground. Right? Some yeah. of it's up, up uh, above ground. Did but like there's so many options. Like you don't have to worry. Like you can find another route. Did you end up going to Queens? Because I know you were talking about going to a Mets game. No, the Mets game got rained out. But I might have popped in there. Yeah. I saw the Barclays Center where the Nets play. Yeah, in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, That's sweet. That was so cool. When I went, I went uh, on the on the train to mm. Queens by myself, and that was a wild experience. You see some interesting people on mm -hmm. New York Transit. It was the way back was a little sketch at like eleven o'clock at night. Buddy, but... try going at two a.m. on the oh, transit. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> there was one night where we were going back, and it was in Bed Stuy, where like Biggie's from, and we were hopping on transit, and we were like, "We cannot wait for this uh, transit. We have to go now." So we just got up, called an Uber, and left. And I told my parents everything was fine. I didn't tell them I almost thought I was gonna die, but that was the only part. Otherwise. Very lovely experience. A very lovely city. It's just anything bad could happen. Even being out in Calgary out after 2, 3 a.m. Yeah. You know? So, like, I didn't really think it was that bad. And, like, nothing really happened. I was just like, we probably shouldn't be here. This is how bad things probably happen, putting yourself in this environment. Wrong place, wrong time, baby. Um, I have to ask, how was... Like, what was the coolest thing you saw with your own eyes? Because you went and you saw, like, some kind of monumental, like, things you would see in movies or TV shows. Like, what was your favorite, like, sight that you saw? I liked being on the subway and, like, seeing the Brooklyn Bridge and everything and then dr riding over the Brooklyn Bridge. Like, that was very cool. Sam, did you do any of that when you went? Yeah, we walked over the Brooklyn Bridge. It was awesome. Um, and I saw Shauna posted, like, a picture where you can have, like, a, like a patio beer with, yeah. like, the Brooklyn Bridge right there. It's cool. It's unbelievable. So Matt's wedding was on a rooftop, though. Like, it was just a random building rooftop with lights strung up. Yep. And you got, like, the whole city in the backdrop. And then we were all Ubered out um, to some little dive bar-ish bar, bar area that Matt and Chelsea liked. And, of course, it wasn't a dive bar. It was very fancy. They just said that. Cocktails, free pizza. There was, like, 25 of us speeches. Matt did his one dance move he can do. 
we could probably even play a clip of that if I can get it to you, if I can figure out how to send it, Sam. But uh, yeah, he does do his one move. He does have one move. Then we all went back and partied some more until midnight. It was it was crazy. Only until midnight. Open bar. That's probably why. 25 Fair. of us. You left. burn out quick. Yeah, there was it was dwindling numbers by midnight. Let me tell you, there were some people who were very tuned up. I can imagine. That's how yeah. it should be at the wedding. It would be in poor taste if it wasn't like that for Matt and Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea's nephew said I look like a secret agent, which was awesome. And it's the Google Pixel Watch, I think. <laughs> and Not then the fact that you're wearing all black. No I was tie. wearing all black and a tie. And then flying back absolutely hungover was the worst. It was the worst thing in the world. Just navigating the JFK hungover out of your mind. I think we might have snagged an Uber on Matt's tab. Sorry, Matt. Uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, I want to know is how is his credit card linked to your Uber? Uh, I think it still is. So if you want to go somewhere tonight, you let me know. We okay. can go after the pod. <laughs> I think it still is. Wow. Do you think I could order a pizza off him? Yeah, like Uber Eats. I was saying to Mariah that I I feel messed up because we ate like a lot of pizza, street hot dogs, stuff like that. And I'm like, I really want to try a pizza in Calgary now that like I have it fresh in my mind. To, you want to compare. To compare. Sam, what was your favorite thing to eat when you were in New York? Okay, I'll tell you. So my favorite thing to eat in New York was definitely like the pasta places. Mm. Like they had yeah, some it's a very good gnocchi places. in Little Italy. But the first night that I was in New York, we were like looking around in Times Square, and we hadn't eaten, and so we, we ate at TGI Fridays. Okay, why not? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I would. Like I would be down with that. Like I wanted to go to Waffle House, you know, and that type of stuff. Yeah, we had uh, after Broadway. We had like this little hole in the wall pizza place. It was awesome. Like it was. They have so many places to eat there. It's not like Calgary where you have to like actually think about it. You can just walk a corner there and find something. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Mm-hmm. It's so good. And like no one ever goes to the the East Coast. It seems like all of our all of my friends go to the West Coast because it's closer, flight. shorter flight, I yeah. guess. The East Coast, like in the states, you mean? Yeah. I think it's just more expensive. Like I just yeah. think like. It just is. It's a more expensive flight. The culture of just going out there is more expensive. It's like, just the busiest place in the world. Like you, you aren't prepared mentally for how many horns you're going to hear honking constantly. It's crazy. I would never drive there. If you asked me to drive there, I'd say, nope, not doing it. I don't think it. people do. People do. It's messed yeah. up. There are people who drive there. I don't know why you would be like, yeah, I want to be an Uber driver here. I couldn't understand. But I, but I mean, like people aren't personally driving themselves. People I think a lot of people have there, like. Though. I think a lot of people have car services. They have yeah. a driver. Like but transit is so easy there. Yeah. If I lived there, I would never own yeah. a car. Let's sell my car. What's the population of Manhattan like? Of Manhattan, probably massive. Absolutely massive. And uh, yeah, I would love to go back because I didn't see. Uh, the Statue of Liberty uh, or a Mets game. I really want to go to a baseball game or a Mets game, and I'm so tired. The amount of booze we had, like the, the coffee cocktails that Matt was serving up or like having people make for us. The whiskey sour, no egg whites in them. Maybe that's a myth. Maybe that's like a Canadian thing. I guess so. The Bloody Marys. You're like, where is those Caesars <laughs> yeah, at? Yeah, they didn't know what Clamato was. They were like, what is that? Uh, Mariah. So there's 1.7 million in Manhattan. Okay. And in the New York, just like the like direct New York area. Like the, like the, cause it's Manhattan's like separate from New York city. Then there's Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Or no, is Manhattan the city? And so, then. So the five boroughs estimated is 8.5 million people on a what's tiny What's the five borough? Sorry, explain to me. Like, what uh, do you mean by that? Uh, the five boroughs. Hold on. The Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, Staten Island. Yes. Okay. That's what I mean. So yeah. like Manhattan would be the main and then you have Brooklyn. The Bro- Yeah. It's like the separate. That's wh- the whole city of New York. Yeah. Yeah. Blink-182 is there while I was there. Also, Logan says the five boroughs is a great Beastie Boys album. So It's true. Yeah. That there's a lot of like music history. Like it's just so, yeah. so much to do and see. Oh, well, and actually sure. the Bluestones were there while you guys were there. I was shocked that Matt didn't go. I was trying to see if I could get a cheap Blast Blink-182 ticket. Like that a really would be cheap sick. last minute one. Someone at 30 Rock was like sitting next to us, and they were talking about how they ran into Travis Barker. And I was like, what? That makes no sense. Googled bands in town. He was there. I think there's a lot of undercover celebrity people who have apartments 
in Manhattan and they are just walking amongst regular people. Like, I think there's a lot of, like, elite people in New York. You just wouldn't be able to tell because there's so many people walking. They're just wearing sunglasses or whatever. Yeah. And pro tip, if you're going to do that or have a wedding like that there, stock your fridge with Gatorade. Do not wake up at 9 a.m. and have a White Claw. Sounds like self-inflicted. That was just... Well, Matt, congrats. Chelsea, congrats. And Shauna, she went off to Vegas after. Don't know how you did it, Shauna. I would die. She's moving on Saturday, too. Oh, She's my come God. She's going to and move. I forgot about that. Yeah. How but, fucked is that? And I said I would help if she needed it, but I think I'm out of town. Sorry. I think that was a drunk offering. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's X After Hours with Mariah and Ty. It's like X Afternoons, but in podcast form. What did you get up to while I was gone? A lot of work, a lot of not being in New York. I'm so jealous. Um, but I was thinking about how when you're away, you know, the you leaving, it's kind of nice. You just live by yourself, you know, got no animals, like full time. You just go. And now I feel like because this week uh, Mr. Bunce is going away for work and I'm going to be by myself for like 10 days. And I was like, God, I'm living the life of Ty Jordan. Yeah. I'm living the life, except I got two dogs at home. But I'm like, this is what you do. Like you now, when just because you're living by yourself, you just go as you please. You got nobody else to cook dinner mm-hmm. for, nobody That's else great. to consider to make plans, like, you know, around. I'm like, God, this is my life. I can come home, walk my dogs, I can read. You till 3 a.m. Nobody can say anything. Well, yeah, you don't even have to like plan a dinner now, Mariah. I know it's gonna be. It's you can gonna wake be up and do what you feel. Pickles, cheese, and crackers week for me. Is that what you're gonna eat? I day? love it when I'm at home alone. I'm always like, ah, I just have like random small snacks because when Mr. Bunce is there, it's like the guy can eat. He can yeah. put away some some food. So now when it's just me, I'm like, oh, oh, I got a little baby charcuterie for myself. But I was a. Uh, I was also laughing because I'm like, this is what you do all the time. Like, me and you are so spoiled because we never have to go away for work. I was thinking, like, mm-hmm. Mr. Bunce is saying, he's like, okay, I got to make a checklist. I got to go. He's, like, renting a little house for Wait, a while. Wait, do you think I could write off that trip as a tax write-off as a work trip? I don't think so. Okay, well. They might look at your expenses Matt's that you had and boss. see it was Just only on liquor. The flights. I don't know. They're going to see you charge 30 Anyways. pieces of pizza to their... To the I'm just saying. It. Okay, like, so okay, so so it. Mr. Bunce is gone. That was just an honest question. <laughs> no, I mean, try it. Submit it. Um, no, he's just gone. And I was just thinking, like me and you are just spoiled because in our line of work, we're never like, Ma, gotta go to camp, gotta sleep in another random bed, gotta deal with somebody else's cooking. I'm like, that's not true, Mariah. <sighs> we once had to go to Banff for a fun work drinking event we had to leave at a really nice hotel in Banff. <laughs> no i'm just kidding You're yeah totally, right. totally the same but i was just like oh i just feel i feel for the people who like gotta go they gotta do this like camp life for a little while pack up i'm like my god i'm just gonna be happy being at home like i feel spoiled but i'm like Maybe Mr. Bunce is like, thank God, 10 days away. This is he so great. He might be saying that. He's he like, might be. Oh, he's, it's probably actually eight days. He's like, I'm going to tell her it's 10. He's like, I'm going to take the weekend. Get a golf course yeah. there. Oh, stay my at a hotel God. Do you night. know something that I don't know? I'm sure people do that. Oh, yeah. Well, he's like, even, I'm like, hey, what do you need to pack? Like, what do you need to bring? He's like, he's my like, golf clubs. He's like, golf clubs. <laughs> Xbox. He's not even working. Oh, he's, he's going on a secret golf trip? Do you think yeah. that's what it is? He's like, I'm working. I need a couple he's suits. Uh, yeah. It's not a wedding, I swear he's to like, God. He's like, I'm in Arizona. I got sent there for work. I don't it know sucks. what happened. I'm on this golf course, Mariah. The drinks are so cheap. I just wish I was home with you and the dogs. Oh, Anyways, I'm gotta really go. missing you guys. <laughs> Better walk them. Haven't you seen that video of like people who who say they're like away working and, and then, then they they're like on a Zoom family? call? Yeah, they bring like a hard hat. No, that took a dark turn. Oh, oh my god. Okay, no, I was gonna say it's people who say they're away working and they'll like guys will bring a hard hat with them, but they lied and they're actually on a golf trip. So they'll like do a quick FaceTime with their spouse. They'll pop on a hard hat, mm-hmm. take off the golf hat. They're like. Yeah, I'm just at work. I'm real busy. Dirty That's up the smart. face a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God, the lies. But anyways, Why do they have a secret family? I mean. That also happens. That might be it. I'm really hoping that's not the case. Where I'm not actually, saying he's got one. Where actually is he? <laughs> Arizona. He's going to go work in Sylvan Lake in Rimby. Oh. Yeah. Rimby? So, yeah. Okay, that's like, not terrible. Do you know where that is? Yeah, I was there the other day. Oh, there you go. You were golfing, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> like, I was Actually, out I was in lake. Arizona. Sorry. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. So what are you going to do, though? You're just going to read and walk the dogs? It's going to be amazing. To try some new restaurants? No, it's actually funny. So uh, Justin Crouch and his wife, Brittany, are like, they don't have any kids this week. And they know that I'm alone. So they're like, should we all hang out? Because we have no responsibilities. Yes, he had (laughs) Uh, turned up. Justin's wife, Brittany, was like, hey... Are you going to be lonely because Mr. Buns has gone for work? Should we do like a wing night? Should we go golfing? I'm like, oh, the possibilities are endless. Are they going to come out to Airdrie though? Maybe. In bar night. Yeah, we can do it. They could stay at the uh, Mariah bed and breakfast. Yeah, I have 10 minutes. They only live like 15 minutes from me. It's convenient. Really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, if you ventured outside of the vicinity of downtown Calgary. That's right. Well. You might be able to discover this. I hope you enjoy your dish of olives and crackers that's right i'll send you a snapchat you'll be impressed it's almost like new york food it's just like new york food <laughs> mariah you live 45 minutes minimum from my house minimum stop really yeah 65 kilometers you know what that's okay yeah. it'll be worth it maybe we'll have a shindig this summer yeah you you'd come on that's by. why i come here yeah it's in the middle yeah exactly um yeah so everybody who has to go out of town for work I don't envy you. You're diving a little deeper into the world of Mariah and Ty with the X After Hours podcast. Um, I guess it comes that time when it is uh, Mariah, Mariah and Ty's, Ty's review of, of the, the week. week. It's time for Mariah and Ty's review of the week. Okay, Ty, did you bring us a gift from New York? <laughs> a <laughs> gift? <laughs> I got my girlfriend a little something from New York because everything there was like the cheesiest tourist shit. It was like, I love New York. There was no shot glasses. There was no, all it said was like, I love New York hats and shirts. You should have got one of those. I would have maybe got you guys some Mets stuff, but I did get something I wanted to show you. Sure. It's my Metro Pass card. That's actually pretty cool. I know. It's so bizarre. You're telling me. That in a city like that, it's not on your phone? No. You have to have this card. And that's what gets you on the buses and the subways. Does that not seem like very out of date for... Look what it says. Walk, don't run. Avoid trips and slips on the subway. Even in Vancouver, it's just like on your phone. Don't jump the turnstile. Let me see. Let me see that. Take a look. I think some people could still get some use out of it. I should have left it behind. This feels dirty. They're flimsy, but you can just buy another one. It was cheapest to buy a week pass, but I got to say, that transit system... 10 out of 10. That was goaded. Easiest thing to ride in the world. Metro card. Especially with Google Maps. I do feel like plastic cards would work a little bit better, Sorry. but also that's so many people and it would be very expensive. No, but right? you know what I mean? Like, could you not put something on your phone? Like, again, like in Vancouver. I think you can. The train system there, it's just like you literally, it's like having Apple Pay or something. You just like tap your phone. I'm sure they have that, but you, you as a tourist. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Metro card New York City app. See. So you can tap your phone. There you go. That's but also, I like the card. But yeah, but then you don't get like a keepsake afterwards, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is go- going to my scrapbook for sure, with all the other things I didn't buy and bring back. They were also tacky. I yeah, you do don't want to be that tacky person. You always feel weird going into those stores. Yeah, I was like, I, you could get an I Love you New York shirt anywhere, like on Etsy for like five dollars. But Why it's would I not spend... the same. <laughs> Probably is the same. Just the location I'm buying it in is different. You got to find like cool. New York stuff. Sure. Like I found, like I, when I went to the Adidas store in New York, I you got found a, shirt a New York there. cockroach. Yeah, that's what I got. No, but it was because it, it you can only get that at the Adidas store in New York. City, yeah, and right? it, it was kind of cool to be like, oh, I was yeah. here. And that's the why cockroach? I have a Raptors championship shirt. It's like you can buy a Yankees hat what? anywhere, but well, they, they won the title while I was in New York. Oh, okay. So I was the first person through the door at the NBA store to buy a shirt. And everyone else was running the other way that yeah. wasn't from Canada. That's like, so Fuck Canada I'm on <laughs> brand for you to be like the first person. I came back from a Mets game to watch the end of the NBA finals because it was like, it was happening. I'm like, I can't miss this. Like if they, if they win and I'm sitting at a Mets game, I'm going to be pretty upset actually. So I'm a, I'm I'm a sports fan, I'd say, but Sam's favorite show is sports. Favorite. Yeah. Someone said, what's his favorite show? I'm like sports, sports, sports. I'd be like, which one? I'd be like, doesn't matter. Yeah. (laughs) All of them. The umbrella of sports. Anything but curling. Hey, curling has a place. I feel like you'd watch the Scotties. I used to with my grandfather, but since he yeah. passed away, I don't. I don't. Oh, watch sorry, oh, okay, that took a turn. Okay, no more jokes. Yeah, it's no, it's because it's curling. Like you just 
It can be a little dry, but it can also be really cool. The announcers are hilarious. Um, but yeah, I give the Metro Pass a 10 out of 10, you guys. That's my review. Okay. Sam, do you have something? Sweet. Also, does this also not look like a chocolate bar design? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks more like a looks chocolate like bar wrapper. Rap- it's rapper. a Butterfinger wrapper. I think colors. it's the same thing. Okay. That literally looks like a Butterfinger. Yeah. Mmm. Mm, I want to have a nice, delicious Metro card. It's do you, have a, do you have a thing? I do. With it's Nugan. not a product, though. Okay. So today, well, post-dating when we record this, but um, Craig Conroy was hired as Flames GM. Yeah. And Todd Rodman didn't like it. Todd Rodman is a uh, sports analyst who comes on our show sometimes. Sports analyst. But I like it. Ta- Craig Conroy has been my favorite player since I was, like, a little kid. Like, Can you I give have- me a rundown? Sorry to interrupt you. Of when he played for the Flames. Yeah, he got traded to the Flames in, like, the early 2000s. Okay. He was, like, their top-line center when they went to the Cup Final in 04. Then he got traded to L.A. Okay. And then he didn't like it in L.A. and he came back, which was the greatest day of my life when I was, like, nine years old. And then he retired as a flame, and he went into the head office, and now he's the GM. Wow. Yeah, and I am so over the moon. He's like, seriously, him and Sidney Crosby are probably 1A, 1B. What if he blows it up, though, Sam? I'm still going to defend him tooth and nail because it's Craig Conroy. It's childhood, (laughs) yeah. I love it. They're going to bring in, like, Jerome Ginla as AGM. Like, there's no way you can hate on anybody, right? I think that that's why they did this is because like there's been so much ill will to everybody in that front office that they're like fuck it we'll put Conroy and Aginla in there no one will hate us it's all is good. that actually real is Aginla the AGM the so it sounds like he's gonna join the management staff after this upcoming season because he's really? got one more year of coaching his son in Kelowna yeah because his son just got mm. drafted to the Oil Kings yeah. in Edmonton yeah wow yeah because he? he's I think his son's still like 15. Yeah. So he'll play one more year at, like, Bantam, yeah. whatever it is. And, wow. and he'll be uh, the AAGM. Yeah. Assistant, assistant to the assistant to general the assistant manager. Oh. It's <laughs> a good call. <laughs> so 10 out of 10 higher. If we suck, then maybe it slips to a 7. I don't know. Okay. Well, Craig Conroy, <laughs> Sam loves you. Yeah. Come on the pod, Craig. <laughs> yeah, invitation Craig Conroy to come on the come X on the After pod. Hours podcast. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, okay, my product, uh, NSFW product review of the week. Check this bad boy out. Is that, what is that, a shot glass? It is a shot glass that has a dice in the bottom of it. So you shake up the shot, you do the shot, and then whatever is on the bottom of this. Is how many more you have to do? Yeah, and it and it's you pass it around and you do it with friends and there's different things on the dice. Oh, I thought it would be like six shots you'd have to do. Like, it's like six. Do <laughs> you, six more. <laughs> you load up the shot, and then you can roll it. And on the back, it says, like, pass, double, pass, all, right. And you were in a circle of friends, and you just get drunk together. Oh. It's, kind of, it's kind of like leaving it up to chance. Who has to do the shot? Justin, oh. Brittany, have fun at Mariah's. Yeah. <laughs> We're just playing the shot oh. game together. Alternatively, that's for Ty's D&D group. That's right. We need that, actually. You I could actually really that. spice it up. Yeah, and I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> That's but actually I thought... a great idea. <laughs> I know, right? right? I thought this is really fun. That's fantastic. Yeah, and I was like, hey, this is hilarious. So, Where'd you, you buy this today? Um, at the liquor store on 4th here when I was getting oh, the drinks. Okay. Yeah, it's called Lotus Dice. Fill, shake, and drink. Drink. Wow. With an no. A. Just so kidding. bust it out this weekend and let us know what you think. Is yeah, there, I know. Is there more in that bag? Um, no, <laughs> this is the box for the drinks, which brings oh, us, okay. <laughs> oh wait, I'm going to give this a tentative 10 out of 10 shot glass. I haven't tried to get, but I like the ASMR. It depends okay. on how fucked up you get liquor pick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, this is the box for our drinks, the Bali water, which is conclusion time of what we think of our drinks. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, like I said, like I drank a White Claw at 9 a.m. earlier this weekend. Uh, so I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I kept it down, so I'm sure, uh, ask me a week from now, the score will be 10 out of 10. It's called hashtag vacation in a can for only 120 calories. Yeah, it does. It tastes a lot like vacation in a can, yeah. let me tell you. It tasted uh, like summer. It I almost threw like up summer. in the JFK airport. Hold that's on. A, that's a Full on vom. Move. Full on vomiting. Was this move. before or after eating food, though? Both. Oh, shit. It did not matter. So you were really fucked then. And like I'm like, this is probably going to be the last drink I have now for until next week when we do this again. <laughs> That's why this tastes so interesting. It's rice vodka. Oh. It's different. It's not potatoes. Right. 
Yeah, it's rice vodka. Mm. Cool. Um, I'm gonna give this a I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. I like the artwork on the can. I like this from Bali. I like that there's not a lot of garbage in this. It's really natural. Um, the only reason why I'm giving it a nine is because I just wanted a little bit more of that mango flavoring, but it's pretty good. I like it. I don't know where my can went. I know I finished it. You right obviously to the dome, downed eh? it. Pretty yeah. good. I was done it by like halfway through the first segment. It was like, segment. Craig Conroy! <laughs> it was really See, good. See, and you doubted it when I gave you the can. You were like, Bleh. You know what? It's because the last seltzer thing that we had wasn't my favorite. Um, but this one was really good. I'll give it, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It's good. Well, thank you for joining us for episode 17 of X After Hours. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always email us at xafternoons at x929.ca. That's correct, right? That's correct. Yeah. And uh, what, Sam? Sam, you're pointing. Mention the sign. Rate the podcast. Rate the podcast as well, says Logan. And just vote, damn it. Yes. Sorry. We have the voting happening. Vote in the provincial election if you live here but also if you don't know shit about the election and what they're providing for the different uh elected candidates and the parties go there and it'll tell you things i thought sam was pointing to the titty plant and like, it's like yeah shout out to the titties nice goodbye you've been listening to x after hours podcast with mariah and ty you want more then tune into x afternoons with these two live on calgary's alternative x92.9 monday through friday 2 to 7 p.m mountain time at x92.9.ca and don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of x after hours downloaded weekly to whatever device you use ham dogs yeah i've, I've eaten those slogan it's where you take a or you accidentally buy hot dog buns instead of hamburgers, so you just roll the burger into a dog? Yeah. That's right. That's why we all wore pants this week.